we have initiated in the year 2003 a randomized trial to find out the best frontline treatment approach for patients with indolent lymphoma diseases. So the CHOP-R regimen was so far the most often used and most accepted frontline treatment approach. We randomized against CHOP-R regimen the so-called BR regimen, which is bendamustin plus rituximab. Bendamustin is a very old German compound which was developed 50 years ago in the former east part of Germany. After the reunification of Germany, we learned something about bendamustin. We used it in some of our patients and really we saw that bendamustin has a low toxicity profile and appears to be very effective. That was the reason that we initiated a phase two study in relapse disease situation. In that phase two study we show that bendamustin rituximab is a very promising combination and this was the basis for us to decide to make a randomized comparison to the CHOP-R regimen. Here at the ESCO I am presenting the final and long-term results of that trial and we show that the better toxicity profile indeed was demonstrated. BR had by far less hematotoxicity associated with the treatment than CHOP-R had. Also as a consequence of that Growth factor support was much lower because in chop arrangement 20% of all treatment cycles were um, treated concomitantly with GCSF to support the bone marrow recovery. This was only being given in 4% of the cases after BR. On the other side of the coin, we not only found a better toxicity profile, but also to our surprise a clear superiority of BR over chop R. So BR was not only not inferior, but in the end it was superior to CHOP-R. And the difference was quite large. It was a median progression-free survival with BR of 69 months compared to only 31 months after CHOP-R. And this difference is of course not only statistically significant, but also clinical relevant for our patients and for all the physicians who are going to make the treatment decisions for these clinical situations in the future. So we have shown that the BR regimen, a very old compound which now is experience a rebirth, um, is not only less toxic in combination with rituximab but also more effective than the established standard treatment approach until recently. So nowadays I would say um, BR was not only less toxic but also more effective and therefore it should be used as a preferred first-line treatment <coughs> in patients with these diseases.